Hello everybody, welcome back. This will be an update to Project Use It Up. These are my February empties. And I will tell you some of the things I'm still working on in March. I'm trying to streamline this process so it's not a super long video. So you have to let me know if you like this better than how I usually do it. For sheet mask, I did do the four for the month. They were all dollar sheet masks. All came from Shop Miss A. I enjoyed them all. The white rose one I liked the most by Nature. We had the avocado mask from Say La Vie. And then I had two from Daggett and Ramsdale. One was brightening and one was firming. They're both two-piece masks. I'm not a fan of two-piece masks. But these were nice masks. I finished four perfumes this month or body sprays. From Candies Coated. This is the cotton candy scent. It was sweet, but it had like some kind of musk to tone down the sweetness. So it was a really nice adult fragrance. Taylor Swift Wonderstruck Enchanted. I really like this one. It was flowers and it had woods and patchouli. So it had another musk and floral. This one is Lady Gaga's fame this was their this was her black fluid perfume i really like this scent it's supposed to be unisex i really did enjoy this yeah it, it had a musk and it was a little sweetness to it from Givenchy this is Amarige this one is a straight floral this did not smell great on me. I mixed it with the cotton candy. Straight florals are not my jam. <laughs> I finished an eye product finally for the year. This is from Maybelline, the Falsies Push-Up Angel Mascara. It was a wet mascara when we started. It dried and then it got wet again. But this is the wand of it. It just has bristles on one side. I did not enjoy this. I would not buy it again. It was best when it was dry. Wet is just, it just clumps everything together. I finished a shower gel from Bath and Body Works. This was from their Tutti Dolce line. This was the second time it came back. This one is in Golden Honey Praline. Really enjoyed the scent. For perfume samples and rollerballs, I finished one. This is Fascinate by Jordan Sparks. This one is straight florals. It's white flowers. I did not enjoy this scent. As I said, florals are not straight florals. Will never smell good on me. My chemistry, my body chemistry does not mesh well with straight florals. I only had one sample not in another category and this was the Verb Manage and Restore Hydrating Mask. It was for my hair. It was a basic deep conditioning treatment. I noticed it was no better than anything that I pay, you know, drugstore prices for. So I have four travel size lotions this month. This one is from La Occitan. This is just a small sample of their almond hand cream. I really love the almond ham hand cream. Can't even talk. It has a great scent. It's moisturizing. Then I have three from Avon. These are their stocking stuffer lotions. I don't know if they still make these around the holidays. These were both the same type. They're the Moisture Therapy Intensive Hand Cream for Extremely Dry Skin. So these are kind of like that Norwegian lotion that I think Neutrogena used to sell back in the day. They may still sell it, but it used to have Fisherman in the commercial and that was their preferred hand cream because it 
left a protective barrier. My feet really enjoyed these. I would put this on and slip on some socks. My feet were really soft and moisturized. This has been really nice for this bitter cold that Michigan had been in. We're still riding in it a little bit. And then this one is just the silicone glove. It's It has a barrier, but it's not as... It doesn't leave as much behind as the intensive one. That intensive one, you can wash your hands a couple times before it's gone. This one was like gone after the... Well, your hands were still soft. So you got, you know, through one wash and you were still soft and moisturized. For wax melts, I have seven wax melts from Yankee Candle and one from Mainstays. This was Cranberry Mandarin. This one I got at Walmart. I love the scent. It's fresh. The citrus breaks down the smell of the fruit from the cranberry. It's just a really nice all-year-round scent. French vanilla was a very mellow vanilla, which I really liked. Because sometimes they're either burnt or too super sweet. Tahitian Nights was not a great scent. It doesn't even smell like anything, but when it was burning, whatever it is that's inside of it, it wasn't a great scent. The Caramel Apple Cake, I only smelled the caramel. Catching Rays, this one smells like fabric softener. So if you like fabric softener, Catching Rays is definitely that scent. Fresh Mint is one of my favorite scents that Yankee Candle has ever come out with. It just leaves the room smelling fresh. I have it used it in candle form. I have it in the wax melt. It just cleanses the air of odors whether it's food or, you know, stagnation, especially when you don't get to open windows in the winter. So it just left it fresh and clean, and I really enjoyed that. And then the last one is Flowers in the Sun. This is a really nice scent. It didn't last as long in the wax melt, but I've used it in a candle, and that was really good too. And now we are left with skincare samples and I had a lot of that from Ole Hendrickson this is part of his new balance line the poor balance facial sauna scrub it warms it had really great grip but my face was irritated by it so I won't buy that the Peter Thomas Roth pumpkin enzyme mask it's an enzymatic dermal resurfacer so it has some grit in it and you would rub it on and leave it three to seven minutes once or twice a week. But it didn't give me any of the brightening that I thought would happen. And I only burned a little bit the first time. But after that I didn't feel any tingling. But it didn't give me the brightening that I want that I get from another peel type of thing. From Corez, this was the Golden Crocus Ageless Saffron Elixir. This was very drying to the skin, and it's supposed to be a serum type product, so it's supposed to add moisture to the skin, but it just dried out my skin, so I had to add oil to my moisturizer to even get my moisture levels back where they were supposed to be. From Biosense, this is the Squalane and Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. It's supposed to hydrate, brighten, and balance. It does hydrate. It felt like a basic moisturizer to me. I didn't notice any of the brightening effects because that's what the Squalane is supposed to do, make it a brighten your skin. But I only had like a week or so of use so you may need the full container to try it but for that price I'm not paying and then I had an another item from Peter Thomas Roth this is the rose stem cell 
Bio Repair Gel Mask. It was a gel mask. It was light in color. Well, it was supposed to be pink. It didn't really have a scent. I used it like I would my rose, ma uh, my gold mask from Peter Thomas Roth. It didn't give me as much firming as the 24 karat gold one does. Because this is supposed to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles, regenerate, hydrate, brighten, firm, and tone. I didn't get enough of that, so it's not a product I would buy. And the last two items are moisturizers. They are water-based moisturizers, and these are my top two. My all-time favorite, I've used this. This is the second time I've had the Dr. Jart Water Drop Hydrating Moisturizer. I really do enjoy this one. It's moisturizing for the dry, for the oily. It doesn't clog. It doesn't make me oilier. It's just a really great, great product. So all types of skin types can use this. And it's not going to be irritating because it's water-based. And this one is the Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. I really enjoyed this. I would like to buy the full size of this. It smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, but it doesn't smell like that on your face. But you cannot go wrong with either one of these. These are both more on the pricey side. I do have a drugstore one I want to try, but I haven't gotten there yet. But these are really great water-based moisturizers, and if you are in the market for that, please try either the Dr. Dart or the Perlice. They are both amazing. All right, you guys, so that was my project Use It Up. I am working on... I have one more perfume to go through. That's, you know, I'll be working on something there. I do four sheet masks a month. I have a shower gel from Bath & Body Works. They're all pretty much Bath & Body Works except for one. But let me know if you like me just going through the products that I finished and not showing you what I'm currently working on. Or if you'd like me to show you a few of the items that I am working on. And in the description box below, I will always tell you where I'm at in all of my categories. All right, I want to thank you guys for viewing. If you enjoyed, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well, peace.